Hey, something a little different today. As you know, we've got two artists, me and my friend Zeus, drawing a Bigfoot. Okay, so I'm thinking... Uh, uh, put head shit there, that's a good start, I like that. Big shoulders, and... Okay, I've got an idea for the Bigfoot now. What I want you to do, as you may have seen before, put the ball where the hand's going to be. Because the hand is going to have that either the ball there or like that. It's always going to be a ball ish shape. So that's what I like to do. Um, so moving along there, big old hands. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try and keep all this in so you guys can see it all, is. Not worry too much about the leg parts there. If that should be the essence of the Bigfoot, right? Big feet. What I'm thinking is people are always trying to take pictures of the Bigfoot. So what if we did a picture where the Bigfoot was actually posing for the picture? Like a selfie sort of. Let's try that. I think that'd be quite fun. So this hand here, we need to work out how this would go around. So I think the thumb would come up like that. You know, right? A finger there, a finger there, and one down. My cartoons always have four fingers, or three fingers and a thumb. Here we go, we're going to do the usual thing of the Pencil lines all at this stage, and then I'll take them and ink them digitally, and then color as well. Oh, it's a squatch, it's a hairy beast. It's a hairy beastie. Okay, get this. Smile right, I think. Yeah. There we go, like that. That's kind of. That's getting the right sort of shape there, isn't it? Okay. We're on the right track here. Yeah. Good stuff. It doesn't have to be perfect at this stage. This is a lot of things we can make better and improve upon as the process goes forward. There, this Sasquatch looks like he's posing now, right? <laughs> there we go, we're going to uh... Extend this with needs a bit of background to it as well. So do some sort of rocks gonna come down here, I think. Down this sort of side. Wiggly we'll lines for rocks. Maybe we should do somebody else in here as well. Let's uh what uh, sort of other characters would we see along with a alongside a Bigfoot in this uh what do we see in the, in the sort of jungles or the hills? So there might be uh, snakes. There might be snakes around. So if we have like a bush coming over here like this. Coming in like that. I'll sort these leaves out properly at the end. There we go. Lots of leaves coming in. And we can draw. Oh, should we have a snaky little character here as well? I think this little snakey's trying to get in on the picture too. Giving him the big cheesy grin. <laughs> nice. We can give him a lovely pattern in a minute. So he's trying to get in on the picture as well. I love this is coming together nicely.
Yeah, this is good, this is good. What else can we do in this picture then? Let's give me a bit more fur on here. That's it, give me a bit more detail, give us more to work with on the uh, colour and shading side later on as well. <laughs> Never be afraid to go back over the lines you've done if you want to just, you know, just make them a little, a little bit darker even. Our snake friend coming through here. That's going to be no bushes here. Some, uh, some of these bushes maybe coming in front of him a little bit as well. Like he's he's delving it. He's coming out from um, from inside the bushes. Yeah, that'll work nicely, I think. Coming over there, and some background of some sort of hills or volcanoes up here, something like that. It's not looking bad. I'm pretty happy with him at this stage. Let me know if you don't, if I, if you think I've done something horribly wrong, or uh, if you think that's not what a Bigfoot looks like. I've seen a Bigfoot, and it doesn't look like that. It looks like like that, or something like that. If you've seen a Bigfoot that looked like your dad, it was probably your dad. Uh, I feel like I want to do some more funny stuff on him. Maybe let's have a uh, little guy peeking out from under him, it's like he lives in his fur. Yeah, I quite like this little guy there. And maybe one more little feature. What else can we have? Hmm, so that's all going to be bushes there. He's coming in above. It's all going to be rocks over that way. Do you see that's what's going on down there? Big enough screen for all this. Uh, okay, let's give him. I'm trying to think of somewhere to put like a little little mouse or something. Uh, yeah, we just have him peeping out from here actually. So let's see. Little mouse under there. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Posing for the selfie. Well, it's not selfie, I'm doing self. Posing for the picture, anyway. Sasquatch Bigfoot guy. Let's get on to the uh, thinking stage. But before that, I wanted to introduce you to my friend Zeus Hills, who is an extremely talented comic artist and uh, whose picture you are viewing right now. So he's taken a slightly different approach to me and it's gonna be a sort of more uh, dramatic composition than uh, the My Silly Yeti, or Sasquatch, or Big... I don't know if these guys are interchangeable, are they, these terms? Let's say they are for the purposes of this. Um, but yes, yeah, there's, a, there's certainly, we're starting off with a firearm here, so that's uh, certainly more dramatic than, uh, than a selfie. Um, now, Zeus is an excellent comic book artist. He's worked on lots of different stuff, and you should really check out his Instagram as well as his YouTube channel. I will link to his channel at the end of this video. So please do go and check out his work. It's uh, really, really excellent instructional work, so you'll learn a lot there as well. It's just really nice to look at, too. So you can see that the techniques Zeus is using in uh, in his drawing here is uh, it's very different to mine. It's a lot more lifelike. Although it's still got an enormous amount of character. And the, uh, the the rendering of the textures here is uh, is fantastic. It's really giving an impression of of what it's representing. Thank you. 
I really love the texture and detail that Zeus puts into his work. Every line there is indicating something else. It's either a shadow or a bit of texture or something there. And they're all really important and they're just placed perfectly. It's a really, really hard technique to get right and Zeus is uh, really, really excellent at this. Back to my silly old Yeti here. Uh, right, so that's my pencil drawing. And uh, we're going to start off by uh, inking in some of these uh, background pieces here. So starting with this sort of rocky bit on the uh, on the side there. Doing all those little crevices. It's quite fun doing rocks. You can pretty much do whatever you want there. You can do some swoopy lines. You can do craggy lines. You can do anything you want. It's going to look fine. Rocks are rocks. They look random. <laughs> but put these little lines in on the edge of your rocks and that will look even better. There we go. It's putting a little branch in there as well, sticking out. And I'm going to move over to the top with that little mountain. Done that in a sort of light purpley sort of colour. And then onto the leaves. Some palm tree sort of leafy looking things on the uh, right hand side. I'm doing this background on a on a different layer to what I'll do the uh, the top bit, so it can move independently from uh, from the main character in the scene. And on an above layer now, we are starting on our Bigfoot guy. So you've got to get his brow right. He's got to have that meaty old brow on the top there. And then his big old grin. That's really going to make him look characteristically Bigfooty. Even though we're actually not drawing his feet in this image. Big furry arms. You can see I'm doing loads of these little curvy lines, little W's and M's all over his body to make him look really, really furry. I'm starting to think about the colour choices I'm going to use on here now, whether I should contrast him with his, uh, his sort of leafy green background, make him really vibrant or keep to the sort of traditional colours of a Yeti. <laughs> I'm leaning towards the latter at the moment. I think... Uh, Traditional brown yeti might work quite nicely in this environment. Back 
back to Zeus's pick now, and he's uh, started on this guy's T-shirt. We're still yet to see the Bigfoot in this one. It's, uh, it's a reveal to come soon. But this is already looking epic. Look at all the individual lines and creases on that T-shirt there. There's, uh, there's so much detail. It's brilliant. Moving on to the face now. The character in this is fantastic. Look at those eyes. You can really see the emotions being portrayed. He's got a hat like mine. Pretty cool. I really love the, the use of shadow in Zeus's work and you can see it here with the it really gives a sense of depth and I often talk about that on the channel when I'm doing my drawings where I put the shadows in they're not quite as dramatic as Zeus's ones but it's um it's, it's the same sort of uh, principle and uh, Zeus is using it brilliantly here it's a really dramatic effect and you can really see where the light source is coming from and where the shadows are being cast which it really gives the image a lot more uh, sort of realism and dynamism. Working through to the, uh, the legs and other bits of the image here, he really has got a beautiful beard and hat. This guy, I wonder if he was based on anyone's favorite YouTube art guy at all. Yeah. see Bigfoot's furry self coming together and there's his face there so we've had the the big reveal on Bigfoot there really interested to see how this uh, this comes together in this inking stage lots of shadow on the ear there shadowy eyes on this guy beautiful work I think we'll, uh, we'll let Zeus finish off this bit before uh, heading back to see how ours is uh, coming together. I think it's fascinating how this feathering effect has been achieved. With just those little strokes there, it's really giving the impression of fine hair. And that's brilliant. Colouring in, we're going to do here very, very quickly. No, quicker than that. So, the Bigfoot's coming together now with the colours going on. You can see on the right hand side there that I am using different layers. So that means that certain colours will naturally go above other colours. Um, which is very helpful. 
when you're doing a drawing like this one because certainly one with a background so you don't have to sort of go uh, right up to the edges with the background you can just put it on a lower layer and your character is always going to be on top of that background which is good back to the dramatic scenes unfolding here with the Bigfoot and uh, this poor fella he really is huge, this Bigfoot guy, and he's uh, an enormous, looming presence behind. Look at all that black shadow there, that's fantastic, I'm loving that. He's really looming over that guy, the black really makes that stand out, doesn't it? A great use of light. I love this. It's coming together now, I think we're, uh, we're nearing the end. This is uh, coming along very, very nicely indeed. Beautiful use of different brushes there to get different textures in that background. I think that's really, really effective. And different shades of shadow as well. I think that's really, really important. Oh, wow, look, a bit of a bit of gunfire there as well. Really, really effective. Absolutely love this image. I think it's worked so, so well. Look at this for a final image. It's absolutely fantastic. And uh, we've got a little signature there as well. And look at that. Some speech bubbles or sound effect bubbles there as well. Awesome. Such great work. Back to our chunky monkey guy here. Here he is, standing, waiting for his selfie. Adding a few more shadows in here. But we are nearly done here as well. I think we're going to add the background back in in a minute once we've added a few more little details here on the mouse. And maybe the snake. Orange, I think, was a bold choice for a snake. It's going to stand out from the orange leaves. Yeah, that worked. Good. <laughs> but you can see how asking two artists to draw the same thing results in two extremely different images, I would say. It's been such a pleasure watching uh, Zeus's picture come together and watching him draw. That's uh, It's been a real eye-opener for me and I uh, really appreciate him taking the time to do that. And there we have it, the final results side by side. I'm so happy with how this went, and massive thanks to Zeus. Please do check out Zeus's channel, I'm dropping the link in or on the screen now, and uh, go visit his Instagram to see all of his other wonderful work as well. Hope you like this one guys, who shall I draw with next time? <laughs>